If you are a member of my choir, then you probably see something familiar here. It says that the next song, the Blue Band song, is called the Surprise Symphony. Well, well, well. A song that we know from choir. This is going to sound exactly the way you expect it to. Let's take a listen. Notice I didn't squeak and squawk on the last note and play really loud because the recorder doesn't do that very well. So have mercy on your parents and always blow gently into your recorder. Okay. So this song goes up to high G just like the previous song. So that's just like regular G, but you're going to roll your thumb halfway up the thumb hole. But there is a new note in this song, and that is C sharp. Okay? C sharp. There's two of them here, and there's two of them here. And it's not a difficult note to play. All right, that's a good news. C sharp is not hard to play. Um, you already know that C is played with the thumb and the second finger. All right, C sharp is similar. It's really quite strange, actually. It's like playing an A. All right, you use your first two fingers and you take your thumb completely off the thumb hole, completely off. All right, and that's C sharp. All right, now you might say, Mr. Weitzgarber. I don't see two C sharps there. I only see one C sharp and then a regular C after that. How come I don't see the sharp symbol twice in a row? Well, the answer is that any sharp or flat symbol lasts for a whole measure. Okay? So, um, within a measure, right, separated by the bar lines, one sharp sign will affect any other C's that come after it. All right, but then in the next measure, you would need another sharp sign if there were going to be more C sharps, or it has to be in the in the key signature, which in this song it is not. Anything else? A couple sixteenth notes there, just just those two. Back in seventeen ninety two, there was not a lot to do. Haydn wrote this symphony. Number 94 in G. Right? Just like we sang in choir. It's a fun song. Enjoy. I believe in you. See you soon.